All right, so now let's talk about some more heat sensitive components. Um, I have here an electronic expansion valve, one of my favorite things, as you can see here, and we cut away the top and the sides. A lot of people don't know this, but the internal components are actually made of, of plastic, right? There's a lot of moving pieces in here that are extremely heat sensitive, and sometimes these get clogged due to contamination in the system from brazing without nitrogen or any other slew of things. And so um, what, what are we gonna do about that, right? I have to remove this, but I don't wanna overheat it, so. Well, let's protect it. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back in here. When in doubt, wet rags out. Yeah. And so the problem here is you look at the outside of this valve and all the pieces and you think, okay, well, copper, aluminum, this is all metal. I don't have to really worry about it. And this copper is pretty small. From here? Yeah, from okay. there all the way around the valve body, all, right. all the all the components that we want to protect. All right. And so what I love about this is that you just kind of shape, form, mold it to exactly what you need when you need it. And again, you can reuse it. Yeah. Yeah, we've got, you know, we just did that other demonstration we threw this right the back in there stuff. Yeah, same stuff we just used only lost a little bit actually on the pipe itself yeah and so with this it's extremely important to make sure that we protect our components when we're installing them there's nothing worse than removing a failed component to put a new component in that you cause to fail in the process and so with that sure you could take a wet rag and soak it with water and maybe even hit it with a fire hose but why create all of that mess why, why do any of that so Let's fire up the torches and, uh, and let's see if we can overheat this valve. Now again, on your average system with this small connection, it's gonna be just a smaller flame, but nonetheless, we're gonna get it to that 1600 degrees where it's gonna wanna melt on us. And again, this is me making the connection, adding the silver solder, getting it nice and hot. And again, this valve body is only a few inches away. And so this temperature is eventually gonna work its way back on the pipe to the actual component. And let's say it's a tight spot and I'm new to this. I mean, you know, everybody out there is new to something. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we're melting the metal again. <laughs> Don't try this at home. But we're not seeing anything come through no the other slope, side. No no overheat, right? And again, this is super exaggerated. There's no way that I'm gonna spend this much time raising a component or a piece of copper this small let alone getting it this hot. Nothing. And the wet rag's just chilling. <laughs> rag doesn't care, right? No. <laughs> and again, look at this, right? Just pull it off. Cool to the touch, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Still modulates, look at that. The internal components still move, they rotate. This is wet rag. This is a wet rag. A wet rag. What's the difference? Why? You can say, well, hey, listen, I'm not spending money on that when this, you know, I've had this forever, right? This is, this is my go-to. I don't buy products when I have something like this, you know, water is universal, wet rags universal. Let's talk about the downsides of something like this. Well, first of all, it's dripping all over the table. Yep. So, um, you know, We're if I'm in a, a mess. If there's a control board, electrical in the way, you've got all this water mess. And what happens when I get this hot? I'm gonna braze this and I'm gonna braze it. And it's gonna get hotter and hotter, right? And what creates, what, what happens when we heat water? It turns into steam. steam, there we go. And so what's happening here? Now that I'm getting it hot, I'm getting the rag hot. And you'll find that this color that you see is the actual steam from the rag. You say, well, that's not a terrible thing. But here's the thing, the hotter the valve gets, the more steam we make. The more steam we make, the more likely it is to blow out the flame. And that's exactly why we use a product like this in a controlled small environment, because there's always the risk of creating an excess amount of steam that you can see here over top that has the possibility and chances of blowing out your flame. And now I'm having to come back over and over and over again to try to get something that I could easily get in a matter of 15, 20 seconds yep. to do the same exact thing. Hey, Roman. Yes. Uh, with these new systems, what type of oil are we having inside of there? And how does that moisture from that rag affect it? So when we talk about moisture and oils, like PVE oil or POE oil, if that gets introduced into the actual system itself, let's say that I'm brazing with a wet rag and, and the steam forces its way into my connection, which gets into my system. Well, either if I don't vacuum it correctly, right, or evacuate it correctly, then moisture in the system is going to turn into an acid. Right? And that acid is gonna cause all sorts of problems with my internal components, my compressors, everything. So again, although this looks like a safe option, I would stick with this. Yes. 
So let's actually heat that valve up now and see what happens when I just wing it, right? I'm in a hurry. I have no time. So let's do the same thing here. Oh yeah. Heat it up. And look at that, nice and orange color. There we go. And so now all that heat is going straight yeah, into the valve. It's working its way back to the valve. You can see that it's actually going closer and closer to the pipe. And the closer that it gets to the actual valve, the more likely damage is to occur. And you can start to see there's some smoke out of the top. Yeah. And again, this is a little bit of an exaggeration, but the idea here is that if you think you're safe, not actually protecting your pipe, wrapping your pipe, and protecting it from a heat source like this, and this could be any component. It could be a temperature sensor. It could be, uh, it could be, you know, anything in that line. You're actually going to cause damage to it. You it's can, not designed to actually get that heat. Straight down the center, the plastic is actually melted. Yep. It changed the shape of there's it. A, there's a wobble to it. Too. <laughs> So don't chance it, right? Toss out the wet rag. Use the real. The use real. the real wet rag <laughs> to protect components like this. Not only the expansion valve, but any kind of heat sensitive device, right? It's not made to take this kind of heat, except for when it was manufactured the first time at the factory. So uh, save yourself some heartache, save yourself some failed components in the future. And uh, yeah. Do it the right way. Do it the right way. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, Give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex. Bytex.